Thanks, Haley and Marissa. Almost 3,000 Americans die each year from fires, and 13,000 are injured. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security says that every family should have two escape plans, and you should practice every month how to get out of your home in case of a fire, a simple suggestion that could save your life. Flames ate through this apartment building early one morning, displacing six renters and sending three to the hospital with burns and lacerations. WVU student Zach Cholak lived below the apartment where the fire began. He made it out unharmed, but is worried he'll have a rough time starting over. I don't have any insurance coverage or anything, so everything that is lost is just lost. I don't have any way to recover. Cooking accidents account for more than a third of winter home fires, but this one was caused by something different. Well, it started at an electrical outlet inside of the, the boxes that contain the outlet. The exact cause, whether it was overloaded or a wiring problem or an outlet uh, malfunction, we just don't know. So what does all of this mean for you this winter? The same things you've been hearing for years. Watch the stove while you're cooking, tend to the fireplace, extinguish candles before bed, and keep at least one fire extinguisher in your home for emergencies. Now one of the most important tools in your arsenal of fire safety is the smoke detector. And the United States Fire Administration recommends that you change your batteries twice a year. Smoke alarms are incredibly effective. When used properly, they double your survival rate. But even when you make it out, it can be hard to start over. Two out of every five fire deaths come from homes without smoke detectors. And here in West Virginia, the state is ranked the eighth highest for fire mortality rates in the country. Haley, back to you.